Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and I know it's been a while since I've done a tutorial video but today I am back. Thank you for sticking with me through my little hiatus. It's been much appreciated. But on to the topic of the day. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer Genesis 3 Morse to a Genesis 1 figure using Generation X2 in Daz Studio. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so even though Daz has released Genesis 2 and Genesis 3 figures, the first generation Genesis figure is still my favorite simply because for me, well, it's the most versatile. What that means is I can use my existing library of Michael 4 and Victoria 4 clothing, poses and characters with Genesis almost seamlessly. So then you might ask, why bother using Genesis 2 or Genesis 3? Well, because I couldn't resist some of the add-on characters that were made specifically for Genesis 2 and Genesis 3. Uh, Daz has been doing a really good job of making some really nice characters for those newer uh, Genesis, newer generation figures. So a few weeks ago, Daz had a sale. I think it had about 80% off. So I used that opportunity to stock up on a bunch of cool stuff, and that included some characters, some add-on characters for Genesis 2 and Genesis 3, male and female. By the way, if you follow me on Twitter at make3dcomics.com, you can get notified of the sales that are going on at Daz so that you can take advantage of all the savings. So that's make3dcomics.com. Just look me up on Twitter and follow. You'll get a heads up on everything that's going on. Now, the only drawback to using the new figures, if you're in a similar situation to me, is that you're limited to the clothing, props, and poses that are designed to work specifically with those new figures. For me, I didn't want that limitation, and luckily, Daz has a plugin named Generation X2 that allows you to work around these limitations. Now, this isn't the first video that I've done about Generation X. You can actually take a look at the original one I did by clicking the thumbnail that appears if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, I'll leave a link in the video description below that you can take a look at. The main difference with this video is that the plugin has been updated, so a few things are different, and instead of making Legacy Morphs compatible with a newer figure, this time I'll be making a newer figure compatible with an older figure, in this case Genesis 3 with uh, Genesis, first generation, first generation Genesis. Now if you want to follow along, there are a few items that you're going to need. First of all, Daz Studio, you'll need the Generation X2 plugin. You'll need the Generation X2 add-on for Genesis 2, male and female, and the Generation X2 add-on for Genesis 3, male and female. Now, keep in mind, you'll only need the Genesis 3 one if you plan on transferring Morse from a Genesis 3 character to another version of Genesis. I'll leave links to those products in the video description below. Again, wait for the sales before you buy, and if you follow me at Make3DComics on Twitter, you'll be notified of those sales when they happen. Now, with all that said, let's hop on over to Daz. Okay, so now we're in Daz Studio, and the tab that I'm going to be, that you're going to be interested in most is the Gen X tab. And I happen to have mine on the right-hand side of my screen. So if yours does not show up, now keep in mind, I'm assuming that you already have the Generation X2 plugin installed. If you do, and it's still not showing up, just right-click on this space here, and you know in this blank area right click and you'll get this add pane in um, brackets tab and then gen x will appear in the list it doesn't appear for me because i already have mine populated here but if you don't have it here just you know right click and select it from the list and then it will appear now just to give you an idea of what it is that i want to do uh, this is the character uh, for genesis 3 this is um FW Phoenix HD for Victoria 7. And this is the character. I really like this character. Not really a fan of the blonde hair, but I can fix that once uh, I get into Daz. So really attractive character. So I wanted to use these these morphs on a Genesis 1 figure. I didn't want to be I didn't want to be I didn't want to be limited to just Genesis 3. So what I'm going to do is transfer these morphs over to Genesis 1 so that I can use all the clothing and props and gear that I have on that more versatile Genesis 1 figure. So let's hop on over back to Daz. Now there's been some improvements with this new version of Generation X2. They've made things easier. So 
before with the old version where you would have to uh, drag the morphs from the content library over into this window here. You don't have to do that anymore. Uh, you don't have to drag the base morphs over. You can choose this source button. Let's try that again. Go to source and you can choose the, the figure that you want. So in this case, I'm choosing a Genesis 3, a figure that was based off Genesis 3 female. So I'm going to select that. And then Daz will load all the morphs for Genesis 3 female, which is great. I don't have to do this manually anymore. It happens all automatically. So kudos to the developers of Daz for making that more convenient. Uh, the next thing I'll need to do is find the character morph that I want to transfer over. Now, this part I need to do manually. So I'm going over to my Smart Content tab. Uh, make sure you have Products selected. It might default to files, but what you want is products. So I went to smart content, made sure I have products selected, and I'm going to figures. And what I'm looking for is the Phoenix uh, HD figure. So I'm going to double click on that. And then from here, I want shaping. And this is basically where all the shapes for this character are located. So what I like to do is create a morph for the head and then create a separate morph for the body. And the reason why I do that is just so I have more options later on when I want to, um, when I want to start customizing my Genesis figures. So I'm gonna click and drag on the head morph and drag that over to this pane here. And that's done, very easy. So mode selected morphs, I'll leave that on the default. Actually, no, that needs to be create a single morph. So the mode, create a single morph. From the select button, I want to transfer on for all non-zero values. Uh, shape is Genesis 3 female. Edges, I'll leave that at the default. And the target is Genesis. And then I want to transfer. So I click that transfer button. And then I get the morph properties dialog box. So the identifier will be uh, Phoenix head for Genesis 1. And then I'll just type that again in the name. This is the name that's actually going to appear. Uh, I spelled that wrong. Phoenix head whoops, for G1, short for Genesis 1. Now, because it's a head for the region, I don't want it in the actor category. I want it to go under the head category. Uh, the icon has already selected. It's already selected it by default, but I'm just going to make sure. Uh, let's see. There we go. There's the head PNG. Okay, so I'm going to let's just use this one. Open that. The reason why I chose that one is because it was already defaulted to 91 by 91 pixels. And then hit accept. And nothing happens. Well, it happened, but it doesn't look like it happened. So basically it did create that morph. And now what I'm gonna do is reset this. And I'm going to transfer the body morph over as well. So go to source, Genesis 3 female going to load all the base morphs for Genesis 3 female. I want to create a single, oh, forgot a step. Let's drag this over. So the body injection morph, I'm going to drag that over to here and let go. Then for the mode, create a single morph. Select transfer on for all non-zero values. Make sure that's selected. The shape is Genesis 3 female. The edges will leave at the default. The target is Genesis. And I'm going to transfer that. And the same Morph Properties dialog box will appear. And I'm going to name this Phoenix Body for Genesis 1. Phoenix Body for Genesis 1. This one I'll have under the actor category. Looks like it's already 
it's already found the the PNG, but again, I just like to make sure, so I'm going to select it manually. Uh, body apply. There we go. And let's accept. Done. Okay, so now what we're going to what I'm going to do is load the base Genesis figure and then apply the morse that I just created to that Genesis figure. So before with the old version of Genesis 2, I'd have to shut down Daz and reopen it. So I actually don't know if that same bug still applies with this new version, so we'll, we'll find out together. So I'm going to go to Figures, Genesis. Uh, there's the Genesis base figure. So I'm going to double-click that and load it into my scene. There we go. I'll close that. Then I'm going to go to my shaping tab. And let's go to generation X. Okay, yes, it looks like it's there. So there's the morph that I created with the name that I entered. So first what I need to do is apply the Genesis 3 female morph to Genesis. So I just bring this slider up and you'll see the body changes. And let's just rotate her like this. And then I'm going to add this morph. And you'll see the body changes as well. So I'll just do that again. I hit undo. And as I slide this up, the character, the Genesis figure will take on the, the shape of the morph that I... Uh, that I applied. So next thing I want to do is add that same morph. We'll add the head morph to the head. So I'm just going to click on the head, come over here and zoom in just so you can see this a bit better. We'll bring this to the front. And now from my shaping tab, I was under the actor category, but now I want to go to the head category. So I'm just going to click that. Let's go to generation X and Let's see, do I have to apply the Genesis 3 female head? I don't think I do, because I already applied Genesis 3 female. So don't mind this. I, I've actually done this before. I'm just doing it again so you could see. But here's the slider for the Phoenix head. And there we go. I just apply that. Let's try that again. Apply Genesis 3 head. And then Phoenix. Uh, I'm not sure if I needed to apply the head again, but let's add a texture and see. I'm going to go to my uh, Surfaces tab, Materials, and I'm going to find Feminine. And let's choose... Let's choose this base mat here. Let's double click and apply that. And yeah, that looks okay. We'll go back to shaping. Let's take this down. I'm just curious to see what happens when I do this. Put it at zero and leave it like so. So yeah, it does need the Genesis 3 female head shape. So I'm gonna dial that back in. And there we go. So that's how you apply a Genesis 3. That's how you apply Genesis 3 morphs to a Genesis 1 character. Again, the reason why I did that is so I have more versatility because I already have a content library that's full of Michael 4 and Victoria 4 clothing and props that's already compatible with Genesis. I don't want to lose that library by going to Genesis 3. So that's why I um, made those Genesis 3 character morphs compatible with Genesis 1. And just to give you an example, I'll clothe the character now. Uh, let's go to Content Library. We'll go to Poser Formats. Uh, let's go to Figures. And I'll choose... Where is it? Utilize? Yeah, we'll choose this one. So in my Scene tab, I'll just make sure that I have Genesis selected. I'll close that off and let's add some clothes. 
So these are clothes that were made for Victoria 4, but this is the, the beauty of auto fit. So I choose Victoria 4, uh, bodysuit tight, let's accept. And let's put some pants on her. Uh, there's the pants. Wait, are those the pants? Here's the pants. Uh, Victoria 4, bodysuit tight. Let's accept. Okay, now we'll zoom out. Okay, so that worked perfectly. All right, I was able to take Genesis 3 character morphs, apply them to Genesis 1, and then I can still use all my legacy content with this figure that looks like a Genesis 3 figure, even though it's not a Genesis 3 figure. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I will try and answer them as best I can. So that's everything for today. I hope you got something useful out of the video. Be sure to check out the graphic novel I illustrated using Daz Studio and Photoshop. It's called Black Sun, The Longest Night. And you can actually download a free preview of that graphic novel on my website, blacksuncomics.com. I'll leave a link in the video description below so you can check it out. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.